How's it going guys? You Otto Scotty here. Today we're going to look at a pretty rare Canadian shrub plant. Recently I've become um, sort of a little interested in um, identifying plants. You know, I've been spending a lot of time outdoors this summer uh, just you know enjoying nature all that kind of stuff as, as much as I possibly can. So I just have become interested in plants and identifying different types of plants and uh, become aware that I have a pretty rare Canadian shrub on uh, our lake property here that actually has an interesting history behind it and uh, plays a huge part in uh, cancer research and um, cancer pharmaceuticals and it's actually one of the world's uh, leading cancer fighting drugs is produced from this Canadian shrub on uh, my property which is getting more and more rare these days but it's called Canadian yew and I'll show you what it looks like let's go searching for it right now so I should say yeah so this thing is this plant is called Canadian yew uh, and it it works by uh, attacking the cell's ability to divide so I forget what it's called from high school but uh, cell division somebody correct me in the comment section S cytokinesis or it's something like that anyways this particular pharmaceutical is able to be um, it attacks the cell's ability to divide which of course and actually it makes the cell kill itself so as far as uh, cancer is concerned that's what you want right somewhere below the screen here um, put the particular compound or molecule that is harvested from this Canadian yew shrub um, which is actually obviously very toxic too to humans and animals so you should never eat eat it or ingest it you know it's very highly unlikely you would anyways but I know there's people out there that perhaps might try and make a tea out of it or something like that that would be a bad idea um, anyway so let's go searching for it now this is an interesting plant look at some of these plants here um, we have some very nice sort of baby trees here Here's one. Here, I, I'm, I think this is just a, a white pine, your regular white pine. And there's a cedar growing down here. Now, this Canadian yew stuff, it looks like a pine tree. <laughs> so, here's a nice little, a nice little white pine here growing here one's looking a little ratty actually I'm getting down towards the lake here start to notice a plant that looks pretty similar but it grows on the ground it looks like a white pine that grows on the ground there's a tiny little frog here look at that where is he there he is tiny tiny little frog he's really small look how small he is Wow, that's a small one. <laughs> Tiny. Tiny little guy. All right, I'll let him go. Um, yeah, so... Where... Uh, well, anyways. <laughs> Here's another sort of white pine here. White pine white pine but then you get down here notice that there's some other stuff that looks very very similar to just a regular pine but it grows on the ground as a shrub it's like a ground growing pine looking thing and, and this is it in here so you may have seen this before it's a little bit tricky to spot here here's uh, just a regular pine tree but this stuff here this ground growing shrub that's all Canadian you this stuff here and um, 
it's a, it's a really pretty uh, ground growing shrub and it's quite rare these days. Anyways, that's what this stuff is here and there's more of it all around growing all along the ground here. Some here as well and there was some more down here that I spotted. I think this might be some down here too. Yeah, right there. That's some right here as well. Stuff here. And I think I saw some around here as well. well that's essentially what it looks like. There may be more. Ah, uh, that's some right in here as well. Uh, no, that's just a branch. Let's come onto the ground. But it's, it's kind of easy, easy to confuse with uh, just a regular pine coniferous stuff. But it looks like there may be some on the ground right here. Yeah, there you go. Some growing right out of the ground right there. So that's called Canadian Yew. And another interesting tidbit of information about this particular shrub is that this particular chemical that they harvest, or molecule that they harvest from Canadian yew, uh, was first discovered in Pacific yew bark, which is uh, um, on the Pacific side, so in BC. And actually, uh, they, they search for this, this Pacific yew so much because of the, they harvest so much of it because of the, um, you know, cancer-fighting pharmaceuticals that they have actually really threatened the the ecosystem and the, the the shrub. So I think it's sort of an important part of the habitat foliage. They uh, almost decimated it completely in the on the Pacific side of Canada until they discovered Canadian yew, which is in the on the oh sorry I I think I said did I say eastern or western on the western side. But now that they've decided that found out that they can get the same chemical from this Canadian yew, which is in Ontario and Quebec and on the eastern side of Canada, it's um, drastically reduced the um, harm on the Pacific yew. Uh, it still is a pretty rare, rare plant. So that is just something kind of interesting that. I've discovered in the last couple of days that I wanted to share with you guys. I thought you might enjoy that tidbit of uh, information. Uh, really interesting. You don't see this air all a lot. I'm actually, I'm actually spraying for poison ivy again here today. But anyways, that's what it looks like. That's Canadian U. Just one more look at this big patch up here. <coughs> That's what it looks like. That's actually a really healthy patch right here. And you probably have seen this before. The next time you see this, you might appreciate it just a little bit, a little bit more. All right, just a quick, just a quick video today. Just a quick video. I've been doing, I've been swimming a lot, <laughs> just enjoying it up here a lot. Jayla's on the lake right now with her kayak with Zoe, and uh, along with my parents, are up here kayaking. We're up here yesterday too. And had a fire. Cooked hot dogs on the fire. And it started raining, but we were swimming in the rain. It was, it was good. That rock moved. Got a new bench here. So, fire pit area. Got to grill the other day, so we let the fire burn down and cook stuff over the grill with the, the coals. That's, it's always fun. Nothing's looking pretty, pretty good here. See this? 
that's just a regular white pine. That is not Canadian yew. There's no cancer-fighting pharmaceuticals in that plant. It's amazing how they discover this stuff. I don't know how, how they do that, but science, it's amazing. Let's see if we can catch Zoe in. Also adjusted the dock this morning. It's working really nice. I had to lower it. I had to lower it down. The water levels dropped. Ah, here we are. Kayakers. <laughs> Kayakers are my parents. Here's Jayla. I think Zoe is uh, causing problems, as usual. <laughs> Alright guys, that's the end of this video. Just a short little video here today. I hope you enjoyed that little tidbit of information. Pretty interesting. The uh, particular drug that they harvest from that plant is called Taxol. And there's various derivatives of that that are used to uh, synthesize the uh, cancer drugs so uh, and that plant never gets more than a, I think maybe like a foot or a foot and a half off off the, off the uh, forest floor it usually grows near water too like uh, on uh, waterfront so it makes sense why it would why it would be there but anyways uh, I found that very interesting I hope you guys found that interesting as well um, thanks for watching the video and please if you have any any uh, additional information to add to this please uh, please do so in the comments section or um, any other interesting Canadian plants um, it, it's interesting facts maybe about some Canadian plants or American plants uh, let's maybe get a discussion going in the uh, comment section here uh, fun video uh, you want to Scotty out we'll see you next time bye for now